Because I can't be fucking doing this anymore. Because I need to put I don't have the will to go to work anymore. Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm quitting my job. I don't think I've been this stressed in years. It's probably gonna be the last week before I put in my notice. It's like when there's chaos around me, my mind becomes really chaotic. I literally look at the mess I'm in. I'm just eating cake. I don't think anything in the world can make me feel what chocolate cake makes me feel. It is currently 2 in the night. I'm still at office. I can't be f***ing doing this anymore. I'm surrounded by chaos. Like my surroundings are a visual representation of my mind at this point. I don't know how I'm alive. Or how long it's gonna be like this. I need to eat something. I need to put some food in my body and more than that. I need some f***ing alcohol in my body. If I don't quit this job, you need to bully me into doing it. Because I need to quit. We're gonna sit and draft my resignation email. I'm very excited for this. There's a way of saying these things. You know? Like you have to be nice, right? Oh, the internet is not here. Now I'll have to connect to hotspot. It's 1024. I don't know if you can send a resignation email at 1030 in the night or 1045. It's gonna take me some time to write this. But you know what? Fuck it, we ball. Let's do it. Should I chat GPT here? Listen, the vibes are off. I gotta go. Hi team. What did I write? How do I write a respectable resignation letter? If you have a job, you don't have respect. So, you don't have respect in resignation letter, right? My job was great. I will be obviously very nice. But I think this entire thing about respect is like quite fucked in India. Like, oh, you should respect your elders. Like, some adults are ass. I think you should respect a person if only if they're respectable. Please consider this as my formal notice. No, please consider this email as my formal resignation. I will be serving a notice. We're not getting the meaty part yet. Last working day. 15th of February. <laughs> Shit, yaar, kal dalna chahiye. 14th Feb. I love myself. I'm choosing myself. Feb ka ho gaya, bhai? I will provide detailed handover. Wait, I will provide a detailed handover to ensure a seamless transition of responsibilities to the team. Oh, wow! It was a pleasure working with you and thank you for all the opportunities that have definitely made me a stronger human being. Yes. Peace out. Yes. Uh, should I attach my reimbursement to this? Oh my god! Hi. Please consider this email as a notice of my formal I wish you and the team all the very best. Thank you, warm regards. Please do. Maybe Thori C this is the first time I'm quitting a job without any fucking backup. Like I have no backup right now. Um okay, I'm just gonna send it. Fuck it. I sent it. I don't have a job. Wow, okay, I gotta eat a pizza for this. Please reach out at Sheenaplans.com if you wanna marry me because I'm looking for a husband with lots of money because I'm jobless. It's been two days since I resigned and I honestly don't have the will to go into work anymore. And today, one of the people that I work with literally said, good, you're leaving. I can't deal with you anymore. Dude, today was bad. This person also said that like no one will ever handle my ADHD and that I should, should go fix myself. I didn't say anything. I just took it. I kept working but I just feel like no one should be spoken to that way like it's not leaving my mind so I'm usually very unbothered about things that happen at work but today like the anxiety that I've felt I just truly felt like I was in an unsafe space and I don't think anybody should feel like that at a place where they spend more than half their day for someone to bring something like this up for like a stupid task like at work like it's not even like a big fuck up right i don't know if i'm overreacting i'm very confused either i'm not seeing myself the right way and i'm not being like critical of myself and i should be that way i i've been saying this all day like, yeah i don't care whatever they just said it but dude i'm actually very hurt that they said that like i'm truly hurt about it like it's really bothering me I don't feel like going to work and I don't want to go and even serve my notice period at this point because if this is what it's going to be like, I don't want it. I'm good. It's been a week since I put in my notice. That means three weeks to go. I just can't. I can't wait. It's getting tougher to go into work. I haven't slept all night. I am just waiting to go home and get into bed. And my day hasn't even started. 
at this point. I generally do know how I'm doing this. It's getting very difficult to go to work every day. Uh, I really just want to sleep. I haven't slept in a row. I feel like I'm in like heavy sleep debt. I don't want to do anything. I don't feel like I'm getting ready. I feel like all the happiness has been sucked out of my life. It's been a while since I've been this low. I don't like it. I just want to feel like myself again. You know how like you wake up in the morning and like, you feel like it's a new day. I haven't had that feeling in almost a month. I feel like my days are just continued. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm living a long day. You know what I mean? And it's a very exhausting feeling. And I just really want to have like a fresh morning again. Oh, I sound so fucking depressed. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> तो मैगी थम्सअप और वो ब्लू वाला जो लेज है ना वेफर वाला Like it'll take me two hours to reach office. I was like, fuck it, and I didn't inform anyone. That's my worry. And today team meeting. Hai. So if someone goes like, where's Sameha? Then I don't think they care. I really, really hope that they don't care. I'm done. I couldn't shoot my last day because it was quite hectic. A lot of conversations. I think I left on a good note. I would hope I left on a good note. I just feel so free. I feel great. My skin is clearing up. I think like I've lost some water retention, so my skin, like my face, is looking slimmer. I was having way too much unhealthy food, like Maggie and chips, and every day, like I was just eating foods that were like instantly making me feel better. But now I think I'm eating better. I'm drinking more water. I'm also working out. It feels good, dude. Like to be able to like just do the things that I wanted to do. I'm gonna see if I want to do something else. I really do want to, but I think I'm gonna take a break, take a breather. Just kind of chill out for a bit. Thank you as always for being here. I really appreciate you. Agle wale na. Bye.